What is up, beautiful people? I just pre ordered my $50,000 Neo EC6. Now, today I'm gonna show you what specs and options I chose for that car. Now, you might be thinking, $50,000, that's a lot of money. Why didn't I choose Tesla? Now, in this video, I show you five reasons why I chose Neo over a Tesla. So, please go watch that video. Now, let's get straight into it. We're going to open the Neo app. All right. And in the middle tab, we got love car which trans which is sort of like my car tab there you can see the vehicle that i chose that i ordered but more importantly you can go down scroll see the different services that neil provides pretty nice we got the one click for charge uh charging map all sorts of different services and here we go we've arrived at ordering and selecting a EC6. So we're gonna customize one right here with y'all and I'm gonna tell you which one is the best bang for your buck. Straight off the bat, we have three drivetrain versions, all right? We can choose the signature version, performance version, or we can go for the sport version, those three versions. Now, to make things simpler, the signature version is the exact same drivetrain as the performance version except the signature version has all the options that I'm going to tell you later on pre-selected. Alright, so there's basically only two versions, performance and sport. Now what does it have? First of all, let's talk about performance. Performance has one high performance induction motor at the back all right and it has another permanent magnet motor in the front so every neo car has uh, our dual motor drives all right they're not they're not single motors they're all dual motor so the performance one has a pm motor permanent magnet motor in the front induction motor in the back and it also has air suspension combined we get a 0 to 60 time of 4.5 seconds. That's the performance version. The sport version. The sport version has double two permanent magnet motors, one in the front, one in the back, and we have a 0 to 60 acceleration time of 5.4 seconds. So that's that. Now, which one would I recommend choosing? Now, if you it really comes down to induction motor versus permanent magnet motor all right induction motors in general have been a technology that's been around for a very long time all right and when it comes to induction motor versus permanent magnet motors the pm motors generally are more efficient because there's less heat loss the pm motors are generally simpler they're lighter all right they're they're uh, less maintenance now you might be thinking how come uh, wh Why does the performance version have a, a better 0 to 60 acceleration time than the uh, the uh, the sport version well the induction motor in the performance version is a 250 uh, 240 uh, watt motor which is really really powerful and the uh, the, the permanent magnet motors are only 160. So they're straight off the bat on paper, we got more performance on the performance version. Yeah. Now, when it comes to range, when it comes to range, the performance version gets 440 kilometers any DC with a 70 kilowatt hour battery. Now, the sport version gets 430 kilometers of range with the same battery. Now you're thinking, hey, how come there's only a 10 kilometer difference? Now this is actually a, a very important secret. When when you put your car in comfort mode, all right, the the car only drives using one motor, which is the the permanent magnet motor. But 
if you put your car in um, in sport mode, it'll use both motors. Now, let, let me take that back. When you put your car in comfort mode at low speeds, it'll use the uh, permanent manual motor, but at high speeds, it'll use both motors. All right, so that's that. So in the end, you get very similar range, a, a little bit different acceleration time. Now, in my opinion, which one should I, should you go for if you have the money you can go for the better more faster one with the better suspension but for me personally I went for the sport version which has really good acceleration as well and permanent manga motors generally last longer they're lighter I like them they're more efficient so that's the one that I went for all right and Neil has really good coil uh, spring suspension as well so that's that all right, next one, the battery. Right now, Neo only offers the 70 kilowatt hour battery, but in the future, they will offer the 100 kilowatt hour battery. It's already been announced, it's in the works, it'll come out soon. You can choose straight up to buy the battery or rent it using Bass, which is actually my number two reason why I went for a Neo in my top five reasons. So definitely use Bass. You save 70,000 RMB straight off the bat, and you pay a little bit of rent money each month for that battery. So that's really nice. If you want to upgrade to a new battery, you just have to increase the rent money. All right, next up, colors. Ooh, man, different colors. These are all really nice colors. You can feel, feel free to uh, pause the video anytime to like have a better look. First off, we have cloud white, which is just basic white color, really nice, good looking like that next up we have deep space black oh deep space black really good looking as well really stealthy next up we have asteroid gray this is also a little uh, more but more low-key really good looking as well in person it just looks really nice next up we have Mars red which is just if you want to stand out a lot looks really really good Mars red now Mars red uh, the actual color itself is a little bit different from what's shown here it's a little bit lighter the actual color is actually a little bit lighter so keep that in mind I first uh, Mars red was actually my first option when it came to color but I ended up not choosing this because the actual uh, in-person color wasn't as good as I expected. So I went for the Neptune blue, which they call it sky blue. Looks really good. It's also their demo color, the one that they showed in all their videos. Looks really nice. All right, and last but not least, we have the only paid color paint job which is the Antarctic blue and this looks fantastic if you have the money definitely go for this if you don't have the money and definitely don't go for this looks really good and in person this color just looks fantastic man so I went for the blue variant which is free so that's pretty nice next up wheels now wheels is a little bit more controversial I'm going to show you all the different options that you can choose from but later on I'm going to tell you why the stock wheels default wheels are the ones that you want to go for so first we have the 19 inch default wheels looks all right we got the 20 inch wheels liked it looks nice got the other 20 inch wheels got 21 inch wheels and another 21 inch wheels uh, we can see that you know these these options all cost extra man this one costs 9500 the other 20 inch wheel costs 11000 the 21 inch wheel costs 18000 and 21 inch the last option cost 26500 so that's a lot of money now why do you want to go for the base 19 inch wheels three reasons all right first of all the smaller the wheel diameter the faster the acceleration. All right, you got faster acceleration. That's just amazing. You want faster acceleration and you have more range because it saves more energy. 
So those those two are basically the main reasons why you want to get the 19 inch wheel, default wheel, the smallest diameter. But another big important reason is you can always buy the other uh, the, the other wheels after market. You can buy it on some e-commerce platform like uh, Taobao or, or JD here in China and I'm pretty sure they'll have it on Amazon in the future. So you can like this one that costs 18,500, you can buy it on Taobao for a fraction of the price. And what you can do is if you if you say I I really want this we, this look out I, I like this wheel, what you can do is you can buy the get go for the default wheel, sell the default wheel, buy this wheel option on Taobao and then install it. So definitely definitely go for the 19 inch wheels. All right, interior. When it comes to interior, two options. We got the Haptex leather and uh, fabric combination and Napa. Now, first off, let's go with the Haptex. Take a look at the Haptex. This is the Haptex black. So you can see that uh, on the seat, there's cloth in the middle. The surrounding sides are all leather. So that looks nice. This is black, but personally my favorite is the Himalayan brown color, which is also the, the interior that I went for. Now this interior just looks absolutely amazing. Wow, it looks so good. And I had the pleasure of seeing this in person at a new house and man, this was so nice. So that's the Haptex interior. Now, if you wanna go for Napa, Napa will cost uh, 21,000 RMB extra. Now what Napa offers it is it offers front seat massage and we have ventilation cooling all right S uh, seat cooling for all seats. So there you go you got the Napa you got the Napa brown you also have the Napa black looks pretty nice and last but not least we got the napa gray all right so that's that personally i went for the haptex now haptex man just looks really really good and the contrast man this is what you want to go for which one is the best bang for your buck definitely haptex if you don't really care about uh seat massages and uh, if you don't really care about ventilation that much yeah haptex is the one to go for keys this is pretty much self-explanatory we got an nfc key and a physical key you can choose the color of a physical key black gold or silver personally i went for silver now the next one we got the extra options the extra options that you can choose for early in the video i i talked about the uh the signature edition. The signature edition basically has all these options pre-selected. First off, we're going to talk about Nomi Mate 2.0. Nomi Mate is basically this little round head thing that sits at the, the, the front of your car and you can uh, talk to and interact with. Now, every single new car has Nomi installed. You can talk to Nomi and uh, you can give her commands, navigation, questions, all that kind of good stuff. But what Nomi Mate is, is this actual physical thing that can turn and actually has different expressions and interact with you. And especially if you have kids, they will really like this. So I personally, I went for this because in the future I will have kids and it's nice to have a little cute little assistant at the front of the car. But for the bang of your buck, if you're looking for the most bang for your buck, definitely don't choose this. But I went for it. Next up, we have the driver's package. Driver's package, pretty, pretty important. All right, we have the, uh, this is the all season seating, which means we got front and rear heating for the seats. Now by default, you have the front seat heating, but with this package, you get also, you also get the rear heat, uh, seat heating. You get the steering wheel heating, which is also really nice. We have the scent system, which is this canister that has different flavors and scents, and you can just tell Nomi, hey Nomi, I want my car to smell good, and then, yeah, they'll basically release this kind of perfume thing 
in your car, which is really nice. And then we have the Neo LED at the bottom, uh, you know, uh, where you enter the car. So that's that's a little bonus. Neo Pilot. Now, when it comes to Neo Pilot, there's two options. You you can actually choose not to go with Neo Pilot altogether and just you know go with the car itself, pure electric, no assistance. But you actually do want to go for Neo Pilot now. Let's look at the two different packages. We got the Neo Pilot, which is the light package. The light package. Well, the light package offers cruise control. It offers a it offers self parking, which is pretty nice. Auto parking. If you run into tight space, you not sure how to park, click of a button. It has a lane keep assist, pretty nice, and it has tailgate warning, and it could occasionally help you move your car forward if you know the, the the car behind you is getting too close which is pretty nice uh, in your center front dash you can see uh, the radar uh, view of all the different cars in your surroundings and it has auto high beam all right so that's pretty nice and then we got the neo full package neo pilot full package which is what I would recommend everyone choose because in the future when there's full self-driving if you have this package you'll have full self-driving all right Neo pilot full package has everything that I talked about in the light package and it also has the drive on Neo pilot which is pretty much autopilot click of a button and then it'll you know drive itself uh, you can uh, change with the turn signals change lanes with turn signals uh, it also has anti-fatigue warning so if if you're getting you're driving you're getting too tired it'll beep warn you that you're getting too tired or if you're not looking at the road and you're looking somewhere else or you're looking for something it'll also beep and tell you hey you got to look at the road all right so that's pretty nice they also have navigate on pilot which is pretty much uh, you enter a GPS coordinate and it'll drive itself uh, the uh, this package also offers the um, road sign recognition so if it sees a speed sign that says 60 kilometers per hour then you know the car will adjust itself and lower its speed to 60 or increase its speed accordingly so that's really nice definitely go for this package worth it the heads up display HUD HUD worth it man worth it you definitely want to go for this it's really nice it has the speed your range and your gps route built in to the hud so you can just stay focused on your road keep driving and you know where to go your speed everything you don't have to like look right you know like the model 3 <clears throat> also has a blind spot warning all right blind so uh, blind spot monitoring so that's pretty nice as well definitely go for that and then this little badge thing it's called the signature badge mm. definitely not worth it it's basically you can add your own name uh, your your horoscope or something like that onto this piece of metal badge that's going to be attached to your car now if you're a baller you don't care about money sure go for it but in general, don't go for it because it's a waste of money and you can always go aftermarket and get like a little badge custom made for a tiny fraction of that price and still get the same effect. And last but not least, we have the queen seat. Now the queen seat is another controversial one because it looks really good on paper. You know, the seat, it can go, it can go all the way back to the rear seat and you can basically if you have kids you know that need taken care of you can just slide the seat all the way back and take care of the kids you have a uh, 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 leg support which tilts up and you can rest your leg on top and you also got a feet support which tilts down from the front of the car and you can rest your feet on there so that's that's pretty nice but is it worth the money definitely not i I had the pleasure of talking to one of the ES8 Founders Edition owners and he told me that he had this seat but he only used it once 
In his entire two years of owning the car, he only used it once when he had a soccer injury. So definitely not worth it in my opinion. So this is how I would spec my Neo EC6. I went with the blue color, all right? Go with Bass for the battery service. Go with the stock wheels for sure because you wanna, if you like the other wheels, you can buy them aftermarket and sell the stock wheels for some cash. Interior, if you don't really care about seat massages, go with the Himalayan uh, Haptex Brown, which that just looks perfect. The key, I went for silver. That's all, uh, you know, up to you. Know me, mate. Yeah, I chose that. And the speaker, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention about the speaker. Every single EC6 has uh, the high performance speaker system installed by default. So you got 12 surrounding speakers, which offers a uh, Dolby 5.1 surround sound. Really, really good, really, really nice. So this is how I spec'd out my EC6. And man, this is a beautiful car. It's a high performance, really nice car. So I hope you guys like this video, like it, subscribe, stay tuned for my next one. Peace out.